How to make your Toyota a self-driving car. Step 1 You need a compatible car like a Toyota 2017 or newer. Step 2 Click the link in the description below to go to the Kama AI store to buy the kit for your car. Step 3 In the Kama AI store click build your kit to start the build process. Step 4 In the build process page click add a Panda OBD2 interface to select between a grey panda or a white panda. The difference is the grey panda provides superior GPS information allowing better improvements to the technology. After you made your selection click add to kit. Step 5 Click Add Giraffe Connector and select the Toyota option. Then click Add to Kit. Step 6 Click Add to Car to continue. Step 7 Confirm you have one Panda OBD2 interface, one Ian Dash Cam Dev Kit and one Giraffe Connector then click Continue to check out. Step 8 Fill out your contact, shipping and payment information to complete your order. When your kit has shipped, you will get an email with the tracking of your package. Step 9 Once your package arrive, grab your Ian and connect the USB cable to charge it. Step 10 After your Ian is charged press and hold the power button for 3 seconds to turn it on. Step 11 Go through the initial setup to get to the home screen. At this point you can skip setting up a SIM card and the Wi-Fi. Step 12 On the home screen tap the setting icon and scroll down until you see uninstall. We are going to uninstall CHFFR the default app and install OpenPilot the self-driving car app on your Ian. Step 13 Tap uninstall then tap uninstall again and that will do a factory reset on your Ian. Your Ian will reboot and it will go back to a setup screen. Step 14 On the setup screen you can set up a SIM card or skip that part. Step 15 Connect to your Wi-Fi network. Step 16 To download and install OpenPilot type in the URL openpilot.comma.ai. Then tap done and tap done again. Now your Ian is going to download and install OpenPilot this will take some time. Step 17 Once OpenPilot is installed you need to go through the OpenPilot setup. Accepting the terms and condition, setting up your Wi-Fi and going through the beginning training. Step 18 When the setup is done you need to log into your Google account so you can collect comma points, see your drives and get the benefits of all the cool comma perks. Step 19 Insert the GoPro mount on your Ian. Now your Ian is ready. Step 20 Connect your panda to your giraffe. Step 21 Set the giraffe switch to the 0101 position. Here is a graphic of all of the switch settings positions for the Toyota giraffe. Step 22 Glue in on the center of the windshield and 1 inch down from the rear view mirror plastic cover. Step 23 Slide out Ian from your GoPro mount. Step 24 Remove the stock camera cover behind the rear view mirror by pushing down on the plastic cover until it unclips, then unclip the small plastic to detach the whole cover from the rear view mirror. Step 25 Unplug the stock camera connector from the camera unit. Step 26 Plug the stock camera connector to your giraffe. Step 27 Plug your giraffe to the stock camera unit. Step 28 Put your GPS antenna in the GPS antenna housing. Step 29 Glue your GPS antenna housing in the top center of your windshield. Step 30 Connect GPS antenna to your gray panda. Step 31 Connect USB to your gray panda. Step 32 Connect your comma power to your car OBD2 port. Step 33 Hide the comma power wire behind the door seal rubber and the ceiling cover reveal. Step 34 Connect the comma power plug to the giraffe. Step 35 Connect USB to your Ian. Step 36 Slide in your Ian into the GoPro mount. Step 37 Turn on your car. Step 38 Your Ian will show the road and it will say calibrating. At this point you need to go for a drive to calibrate it. Step 39 Once calibration is done turn cruise control on, go above 20 miles per hour and set cruise on. You did it. Your car is self-driving. Welcome to the Kama AI family. Join the Kama community on Slack, subscribe and follow me on Twitter for more videos.